bitch and me folded. What? Never that, boy. Can't leave the kill without the drugs and the cap, no. boy. If I wouldn't see neck, baby. Yeah, that's on my back, boy. Get ear to the max, boy. Finny, that's a fact, boy. I'm from a place where it's dark outside. The late nights, you can't walk outside. Bullets got the names on them. Hit you when your homeboys ride. As your mom shed her tears and she wondering why. Yeah. Uptown Double H. Man, it's be the five. What? MP in the cut. What? Yeah, we get it live. Hey. Moses can't go to any hood, but it's connect Shump Cub, baby Shump, hella good, baby. Okay, A Fab and P Y used to be. Uh-huh. Page Street, we was right next to JB. Yeah. Hot box, not the Pontiac, talk couldn't see. And it's like that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain, bottle with a gin. Hey, New York, brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Dice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket slim. Hey, can't play, boy, never him. And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. I'm just trying to change my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to tell my L's to 100. Come early in the morning? Yes. You know you coming to Target. And it does go one time a day, right, no more? Yeah, say good morning. Go turn around. Huh. Good morning. Are you comfortable? Are you going to just stay there? You want me to just leave you here? I'm not gonna come back for you. You're gonna live in Target. You wanna live in Target? Nope. No? Nope. You better come on then. Um, I thought you wanted Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because I think you're right. The car is on that side. All right, guys. So we're on the road to the destination, which is Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. That coffee order, that coffee, that iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. Y'all know how I feel about Dunkin' Donuts. And we got two pink strawberry frosted donuts for the little guy back there. Anyway, so, like it's Saturday, so I really don't know what I'm going to do today. I normally really don't do much at all. You know what I'm saying? We just be chilling in the house. Like, Monday through Friday normally be kind of like a long week because I got to take Tinky going from school you know we can do just chill and i'm it don't take a lot for me to be happy like i like to just chill it don't even got to be netflix i watch whatever on tv as long as it's not stupid and i just like to chill like i don't really care about going out and even though it's not really too many places to go out to because of covid like i mean there's lots of places to go to but i'm not trying to be in somewhere where it's so secluded because i don't even know what to believe anymore like I don't know if it's COVID. I don't know if it's not. I don't know what to believe. Like I know out here, it's pretty decent. Like, but yeah, so I'll probably just, I did have plans on like styling a wig today, like a couple of wigs, like plucking some and styling them. So maybe I could do like a couple of videos tomorrow. Cause the last time I did videos was last Sunday and I never do them on a the weekend. Oh, you so cute too. You are cute too, where are you? You so cute too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Are you trying to kill them? Yeah. Why would you want to kill the good guys? You're. Yeah, you are crazy as heck. You right. You you said it. He said it. Y'all heard. So we almost got Dunkin' Donuts and. We are going to get our, I'm so, I'm so hungry. Like, what should, I should make, what am I going to cook for dinner? You know what I'm going to make for dinner? I know tomorrow's going to be a roast steak, so maybe I won't cook dinner today, okay? Maybe I won't. Who knows? Can I try it yet? You, why? Got to eat it. I think, I think it's all uh, army, I give the army by on the balcony. Oh, yeah? Wow. Yeah. You love those donuts, don't you? I could eat it all. You gonna eat it all if it's a big giant donut? Well, you got two of them in there. So that's like a one big giant donut if you put them together. See, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See, this is why I use the Dunkin' Donuts app because there's like people coming out the door. I tell you, Dunkin' runs America. America runs on Dunkin', like they say. I'm not a Starbucks person. I don't even know how to order off the goddamn menu. Okay, so. And they are very bougie in there and overly priced. And I'm not really a Starbucks person. I grew up on Dunkin', so I go with what I know. And sometimes the people be looking at me like I'm crazy when I come in. 
not the people that work there, but the customers. Like there'll be a line for ordering and then they got to move to the other side. But there's also on that other side where they got to pick up their stuff. There's also the mobile app pickup. So I'll just come in through the other door and I'll just go right over. And a couple of times some lady was like, well, you need to get in a line. And I was like, excuse me. And I just looked at her and because I had my mask on, I just looked at her like, and I didn't say anything. I did say, I didn't say, excuse me first. I just looked at her and didn't say anything because that there right there should let you know, you should just either mind your business and leave me alone. Worry about you. What, you over there ordering, honey, not me. So yeah, she was like, you need to get on the line because the line starts over here. First time she said, you need to get on the line. And I just looked at her and just continued to wait for them to put my stuff up. Then she said, the line starts over here. I said, yeah, I know. It sure does, but not for me. Mm, maybe you should worry about yourself. She didn't say nothing after that, especially when I grabbed my coffee and walked out the damn door. And then there was another time, too. I just hate when people just don't mind their business. Like, learn how to mind your business. Worry about yourself. If they not on the right line, worry about your line. Worry about if you on the line. Worry about if they trying to cut you on the line. You know what I'm saying? Worry about that. Don't worry about somebody is on the opposite line. Just don't worry. Just don't worry. Be happy. Sometimes I try to ignore people when they're trying to sell me something. Um, especially if I'm not trying to hear you and, like, I already know. And, like, you don't even know what you're talking about. Like, I try to ignore that. When you look at people and you give them that look, that's the best answer right there, I would always think. Like, you know what I'm saying? So we're about to go home. I'm about to put these two chairs together and throw out the old ones. Oh my God, I've had those old chairs since seven years now, since we moved here. And I got them for $10 each at the thrift store. Oh, we should go to Savers, right? You wanna go to Savers? First we go to Savers before we go home, cause me and him like to go to Savers together. There, there's no cool toys in Savers, honey. They're all used and dirty. Not all of them are, but he did. Let's just go out of the shower right And I'm gonna go be rich. You gonna be rich? Yeah. If you find a Transformer? He loves Transformer toys. That is his thing. He loves them. And how many have we found at the thrift store? I, I found Bumblebee, Bumblebee, Artemis, Artemis. Four. We got, one time I went without him because he was at school, and I found Optimus Prime, right? And I brought it home. Then one time I found, first time I found Bumblebee, it was me and, was you with me? It was me and him. And then the second time I found something I on my, too. Yeah, and the second time he was at school, and I found uh, Optimus Prime by myself. And then the third time, me and him found another Bumblebee and a, another Optimus Prime, different one. So he loves Bum um, he loves Transformers. So we've been getting lucky. But last week we went, we didn't get so lucky. So we're going to go look. Like, I'm not really trying to buy nothing from the thrift store. I don't need anything. What if I do go there and I find some stools? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be so mad, but I won't be so mad because I got my receipt, girl. I will take them back and get my $86 back if those dudes is worth it. Oh, yeah? It's not fine, it's good, but we're going to go. So we made it in and see what they got here. But this stuff is so nice. But they want $10 a piece for this. Like, I'm not about to get a $10 a piece for those. Was here the other day? Yeah. No, no this was. wasn't. Oh, this was. No, this yeah, wasn't here the other day. No, for real, wasn't. No, I would have seen this. Yeah, it was there the other day. So no, it really wasn't. He does, though. I, he, I seen it. he said he's seen it. I Who you telling? I know. Mm -hmm. This is cute, but I don't remember seeing this. But if you did, okay. Oh, they want $7.99 for it. I like to wait for Mondays. Right. <laughs> I'm always looking for KitchenAid cash. Right, this is a KitchenAid cash. Yeah. Nine nine nine. But look, probably Monday it won't be here. Even today, because just to buy one of these. Those are cute. Oh, this is a cute shelf. Yeah. I like to look at these things because you can really make them over. This is nice. This one is nice too. So I just had like this amazing conversation with the older lady that was next to me. Oh my gosh, she reminded me so much of my mom. Like from the look to the clothes, they reminded me so much of each other. And so we had like this amazing conversation just now for like 25 minutes. It was like so worth the conversation. You know when you meet people and it's a reason for you to meet them? Like 
it's just like God has sent her my way to talk to me about some things that I was going through and she was too. So this was that was like an amazing conversation for real. That really made me feel a whole lot better, especially coming from someone that's like, she looked just like my mom. Like, she really looked like my mom from the clothes to the hair to the skin color. Like, seriously. So that was like a good conversation. Like, for real. Wow. But we are still looking around at things. Today's colors for 50% off are green, orange, and yellow. But they don't ever be having nothing. That's why I like to wait till Monday because they, they know what they want. Come on. I thought we was looking for... Transformers Legos. Legos, Legos, Legos. I don't see any Transformers. No Transformers. I'm going to look in the, the lamp section and see what they got over there. Why do they have some stools in here? $7.99. Hold up. Look at these. I, why did I. Well, I would bring those fucking stools back. Now I find a stool. But I don't really like the style of it. It's really pretty. Wow. But I don't need it. I love mirrors, but it's pretty. here? You think so? He likes buying people's garbage, I guess. We going home. So I was ready to put these chairs together, these stools, and I was saying to my mama on the phone how I'm going to have Nay help me. And as I was saying that, Nay was coming down the steps. But look! Look at my baby. She could build some shit, okay? She know how to put stuff together. She get it from her mama. She is just the best kid ever. And she knows how to read directions because she's smart and intelligent. And she knows how to build things because she's smart and she's intelligent. And she knows how to follow directions. All right, you guys, I got to clean up my house. I got to, I, I definitely got to help my babe put this together. Because look at her. She's, she's, she's amazing. You know that's an adjustable height, right? Yeah, it's an extra. Oh, oh, you're not putting the legs on yet? No legs. That's not all the legs because look. This, the seat is going to go right oh, on here. Oh, have, That's an awful small chair. I have this first. Oh, do, oh you following? I have the swivel to the legs. Oh. Let me, are the legs, but I have this the swivel. Oh, so I should just mind my business. Because I'm not helping, really. Should I just go somewhere? Uh, <laughs> what does that mean? Hmm? What does that mean? Don't skedaddle. Skedaddle. Scram. Scram. I'm going ahead somewhere. Gone ahead somewhere. You got this. But my mom, she surprises me with shit all the time. And she had bought this actually for my son and his wife as a housewarming present. And when I seen it, because she had it delivered here to my house from Amazon, I was like, oh, shoot, I want one of those. I'm going to give me one. So I was going to buy me one. She was like, no, don't buy that. Don't buy that. And yeah, I guess not because she went and bought me one. This thing is amazing. When I got this, she also sent this too from Amazon. Like I needed a George Foreman. But she said, well, if you want to make something just for yourself. And she heard me talking about how much I had loved my George Foreman grill. But I, I had threw it out before I had moved here. I just needed this. I didn't even need the George Foreman. This does both and better. This thing is a beast. I love it. It's a beast. We put the chairs up. They look really good. And they put them together. They look so nice. Look at them. Don't they look good? Like, I like them. They look really good. And they are really, they're really nice. I like them. So, doing. So, me and Nate's playing bingo, and Pancake is like loving me up because I'm sitting here on the floor. Right? She just came and just tapped me on the shoulder and started kissing me and hugging me up. Bingo. Yes, bingo from the Dollar Tree. I found us at the Dollar Tree. It's so cool. Me and Nate's having a good old time playing bingo. Lovely teacher. Oh my God, I know her. She's so funny. <laughs> Funny, but in like a whole new way. I know you keep. You guys keep telling me about this girl. Like, hi. A, look at my love muffin hi. back there. Say hi. <laughs> oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. Oh, bingo! You gonna snatch my wig off? Bingo, bingo, bingo. Woo, 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 woo. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Woo, woo. I love you too.
Oh my god, I love you too. I love you too. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Oh, oh, she got my wig. She got my wig. <laughs> she's sitting there are you really packing up no it's just a bag for the little one for the for the um for the chips please stop please stop don't be being mean to her on camera oh sorry right yeah. <laughs> okay back up please tell her don't be being mean to Put you on the board. she wants to play 43 about to win. Oh, bingo. I got bingo. bingo. <laughs> no, she. That was so rude of this you. Is so foolishness. Now I'm going to write the lines on this. Wow. She took the whole thing. The balls are all over the place. Wow. What a spoil. Sport. Poor sport. What were you trying to say? I don't even know. <laughs> Nay, nay, nay. She's a sore loser. Because I got bingo, bingo twice. And she's going to take the whole game and throw it off the table viciously. Okay? Yes. Viciously. She threw it off the table viciously. That was so mean. My hard-earned dollar. Because she's backing up. You're sore loser. Would you like to play another round? No! You might win. Come on. She's a sore loser. Bingo was my name, yo. Bingo, bingo.